Good morning, everybody, from the very steep piney slopes of North Georgia. It's early April right now, and uh, for the rest of the month, I kind of have a lot of trips planned and a lot of stuff going on. So I'm not going to get too much more time to do local herping over the course of the rest of the month. So I'm going to try to get some of that in today just because we're going to be traveling so much. So I'm going to try to explore this area that we have been to several times this year a little further. I think this place has a lot of potential to produce some really cool snakes, so I'm just going to hammer it today. It's pretty fantastic weather. I'm going to strap up the GoPro, flip some rocks, and it uh, should be good weather for stuff to be basking today, too. It's nice and cool, and it rained a lot yesterday, so we'll get to it. Look at this colorful little guy. That is an American toad. Very nice looking. Well, I regret to say that after many hours, this little worm snake is the only thing I have seen, if that's a snake at least. Um, we've still got a lot of time left in the day. The woodpeckers are going crazy. Um, so I'm just going to leave this guy right here and we're going to try to find more good habitat. I thought the stuff we were in right now is pretty fantastic, but this is the only snake I've seen. I just flipped what's either a geocache or someone's drugs under this rock. We're going to see what's in it. There's also a caterpillar who actually scared. Look at him. He scared me because he's so twitchy. Alright, let's see what's in this thing. Yep, it's just the world's most forgotten geocache. A letterbox. Hmm. It's not a geocache. I don't know what that is, but I've never found one before. Interesting. That hasn't been the sneakiest morning so far, but it's been a weird day in the woods. Look at this pine tree. It's got like a pine vine wrapped around the base. I've never seen anything like that. It's a tantilla. Kind of weird. It, oh. It's kind of weird it took us that long to find one today. Going into shed. It did not take very long to find more. The next couple of rocks I flipped all had tantilla under them, and we ended up seeing quite a few over the course of the next few minutes. Tilla. Incredible. There's another one. Just about getting into the right rocks. They're everywhere. Hey, what is that? We got two ring necks. Nice. That was a beautiful rock. All right, well, we're finally getting into some snakes. Hopefully this means that we'll be able to get something pretty good out of this habitat, but two more ring necks. What is that? It's a racer. Come here. <laughs> Ow, come on, bro. Well, it's currently 3.30 in the afternoon and that is my first snake of the day that is not nine inches long or shorter. <laughs> Uh, which is kind of frustrating because we've been at it all day long and it's pretty ideal weather in my opinion. Uh, we had a lot of rain last night. It got nice and cool and the high today is only around 65 degrees. This guy's kind of warm to the touch. That rock must be uh, transmitting quite a bit of heat to him. So it's a pretty ideal place for him to be. I'll let him go. No more snakes were seen that day, and I decided to call it pretty early so that we could get up and make the long drive back to the mountains again in the morning. Yuck. That is rough for mid-April, but we're going to go see what we can do with it. So today we are up in a pretty montane region of North Georgia. Vegetation here is a lot more Blue Ridge-like. And uh, the big target for today is to find a milk snake, but I've never seen one in this area, and I've only been up here a couple times, so either way, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing just what we can turn up, even if we don't get a milk, so we'll see. What's up? All right, Hunter has our first find of the day that we're actually taking a look at. I did see an anole and a skink, but we have a handsome eastern fence lizard here. Seems like the lizard's just kind of overnighted under the rocks, so we're going to hope that snakes did the same thing. Oh, two baby race runners. Look at those guys. We got two sleepy baby six line race runners under this rock. Being cold, we'll cover them back up. 
Well, this is kind of neat. This is a really cool looking five line skink that I briefly thought was a coal skink, but the uh, the chin scalation does not match. This is definitely a five line or a southeastern five line, but look at his fork tail. That is not something we get to see too often. I imagine it's actually pretty rare in nature. Fork tailed skink. Oh, a rat snake out on the crawl. Rat snake? On the crawl, dude. What? He's like actively shedding his skin. What's up, dude? Why are you this way? <laughs> he's super, I guess he's just skinny and has a stuck shed. Well, I guess we're gonna get, we're gonna get that guy's shed off. All right, so here's this rat snake we just found. It's really weird that this thing was out already because it is 46 degrees. But as you can see, he's not incredibly healthy. He's a little bit on the thin side and has a stuck shed. So we're gonna try to help him work this shed off. This is not something that's natural, not something that is good for snakes when it happens. So let's see if we can, you can see it's coming off fairly well. But when a snake's ready to shed, the skin will just peel off like this. And uh, it tends to get stuck when they have blisters or other things that the scales can get hung on as they're coming off. And also when it's a super dry environment. A little tip on there still. There we go. Well, you certainly look a lot better. He just looks skinny now. What a weird find. 46 degrees, and this guy was just out crawling through the grass where I was flipping rocks. It's a good-looking snake. It's a shame he's skinny, because I bet if that was a healthy, fresh-shed rat snake, he would probably be pretty stunning. All right, so rat snake is right there, and Hunter just flipped this guy. This might look like a normal ring neck to most people, and it is a pretty normal ring neck, but it's actually a new subspecies for the year. If we flip him over, you'll see he has an entirely yellow belly, which is indicative of the northern ring neck subspecies, which in Georgia is pretty limited to only the far northern part of the state. Some ring necks are definitely a little more conducive to showing their bellies than others, and this guy does not want to show us his belly, so we'll just put him back under his rock. A ring neck. Let's go. All right, here's our next ring neck of the day. Let's do a belly reveal. That is a normal southern ring neck. So I guess we're in an intergrade area today where we have northern looking ones and southern looking ones. A scarlet snake. I just got it out, it was in a hole. No way, dude. Dude. That's going to be such an awesome flip flip. Oh my god. Look at this burrow it was in. Dude. <laughs> so Hunter just flipped that dumb little rock right there <laughs> and found that. So that is a huge and just ridiculously nice looking scarlet snake. That is fantastic. It's exactly the kind of thing that we wanted to have happen today. That is so cool. If we're not going to get a milk snake, we might as well get something with red bands. <laughs> that is awesome. This is the scarlet snake spot. That is a fantastic way to highlight the day if we don't see anything better. But we do have quite a bit of time ahead of us, and the conditions are only going to continue to get better as it warms up throughout the day. Super cold start this morning, but we have found a couple of decent snakes regardless. And we've got the rest of the afternoon and warmer temperatures to come. Like with any scarlet snakes, this one has been super docile, super cooperative. And it's just sitting there being cute and beautiful. It's so awesome. What a stunner. We'll put this guy back under his rock and hopefully there will be more good things to come. Look at that very pointy nose. Super, super unique looking. What a fantastic snake. All right, so assuming the flip clip came out as good as we're hoping it did, Hunter is going to generously provide it uh, to the channel. He is wearing a GoPro today. 
<laughs> How is he even gonna go back under this rock? He will never if he's just balled up. We should probably just put it in the hole actually, because there's not really so there's not really a way for the snake to get under this rock, so we're just gonna let it go into the burrow. This was basically one of those really lucky flips where the burrow is right on the surface and the snake just happens to be hanging out under it. What part of its body did you see? The back end. Really? Yeah. There we go. I was shaking his tail. That was weird. It was just like that, yeah. That's cool. All right. Well, we'll uh, gently place that rock on top of him. He's in a really nice depression right there, so there's no risk of him getting squished. All right, guys. Hunter is on the grind today. He just flipped our next snake and our next species, a tantilla. These guys have been absolutely everywhere, but I will say, of all the places we find them, this might be one of the coolest. I didn't think it was possible. Oh, double ring neck. All right, here we have two more ring necks, so we're gonna see what kind of bellies they have. This guy has a northern belly, look at that. And this other one has a southern belly. <laughs> That's kind of cool. A ring neck. Hello. And that one's a southern. This is like fairly rattlesnakey right here. That's the best milk rock. No. Yep, and I don't what? have my GoPro on. Dude. All right, well, Hunter just flipped another scarlet snake. <laughs> that one is a very tiny baby. Let's get a better look at that guy. That is awesome. That is ridiculously cool. Look at how pretty this thing is. That is so ridiculous. Like, it was 39 degrees this morning and we found two scarlet snakes. And it's it's not even, it's just now noon, to put that into perspective. Hunter flipped both of them. My man's going crazy out here. All right, back under his rock, scarlet snake number two. What a stunning little snake. Very awesome. Maybe we can get a hat trick today. We got plenty of time. All right, Hunter is releasing this little guy. Perfect. Look at this big one though. Oh, ring neck and another skink. There you go. That's a big ring neck. Dude, look at the size of this. <laughs> All right, man, I'm out of here. All right, peace out. Well, that was a cool flip, a giant ring neck. This is definitely more of a Northern sized ring neck and a Southeastern five line skink. Oh, that's a big ring neck. Another one. Look at that. That one's a little more integrated. Lots of snakes right here. All ring necks and that one scarlet snake. Oh, two more tantilla. These guys had been kind of absent today until now. That's only our second and third. I dropped the little one in the leaves and he disappeared. Oh my God. Well, that is my first milk snake from this spot and probably the first time I have ever found a milk snake and scarlet snakes in the same day. Unfortunately, this is exactly what Hunter wanted to see today the most and he had to leave about 30 minutes ago. And also, unfortunately, it's deep in shed and you can see it has some beautiful color under there. It's just bad timing. We found this guy when he's his least colorful. I definitely think that could be the biggest L of the year when it comes to finding cool snakes that are in shed. But obviously that is way better than not finding a milk snake today and I still have a couple more hours to try to find another one and a couple more spots I've been meaning to check out. So I'll put this guy back under his rock and we'll get to it. But fantastic day so far. Two scarlet snakes and an Easter milk. Very, very, very nice. Look at that. Such a shame it's in shed, but it is what it is. Here you go, bud.
those perfect rocks and I just finally flipped our first worm snake of the day under a piece of wood on the ground. Although this guy is going into shed or he's deep in shed. So I'll just put him back. Nice to see one of these guys though. Kind of surprised that we've never seen one at this spot despite how uh, seemingly nice it is for them. Unfortunately, that worm snake was the last find of the day. I poked around for quite a bit longer, but I just couldn't get into any habitat that I liked. But yeah, super excited to finally get a milk snake in this part of the state. But I think I am going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.